Fallout 3 is a great game. It shouldn't be considered anything less because of the time that has passed since its release. Yes, technology has advanced substantially in game development, but there is still a fantastic game under this bleak world. I remember playing this for the first time on Xbox 360, and I'm well aware I'm showing my age right now. It introduced me to a series that will most likely forever be my favorite of all time. This video is for those of you that either haven't played Fallout 3 in a long time, or for fans that started with one of the newer games like 4 or 76 and never went back to play the older Fallout. I loved my time beating the game back in the day, I remember being obsessed. But saying that also comes with a little bit of regret, as when you completed the main story back then, the game just ended, no continuation whatsoever. Thankfully, as time has passed, that has changed with DLC additions allowing continuation and increasing the level, level cap. For backstory of this video and some negatives that I'll mention later, I played Fallout 3 on both Xbox and PC recently, around 20 or so hours on Xbox before I switched platforms. I'll explain why, don't worry. There will be no main story spoilers, you will see raiders getting destroyed with a power fist and enemies getting sliced up by a shish kebab, and also dog meat being called a good boy occasionally. Fallout 3 still has a lot going for it today. The world building, amazing voice acting, and character development are only part of it. The amount of lore in this game is truly astonishing. Let's say you only played Fallout 4, you are really missing out. I can't show you in one video, or even explain fully in multiple. If we're talking strictly story, then Fallout 4 isn't even close to being in the same league as 3. Megaton alone has multiple interesting quests, side activities, and homes, while well, a home that you can decorate or even have a theme in. It's also the first location you can truly see dialogue and character interactions, and how much weight they can hold on if a game is good or not. The good aspects of Fallout 3 still hold up after all these years. I switched to PC for this video because of outdated game mechanics that were causing me frustration while playing. The world itself, while bleak and lacking vibrance, were not the reason why. Or even the shooting mechanics that I know can be easily adjusted with mods. It was actually due to the lack of being able to run in the game. I know this doesn't sound like much of a reason to get frustrated with a game, but it was for me. The slow slog through the capital wasteland was beyond frustrating. So I jumped on PC and downloaded a mod that gives you the ability to actually run in the game. Fallout 3 really shows its age when it comes to game mechanics like this and the appearance of the world. It's also quite empty, which seems to be something I'd forgotten over the years. Yes, there are amazing locations, there are fantastic people to talk to throughout the Capital Wasteland, but there's also a lot of emptiness. This should not change the fact that Fallout 3 was an amazing game back when it released, and it still holds up fairly well. If you love the story of Fallout, and can look past dated game mechanics and shooting mechanics, I think Fallout 3 is worth playing today, especially on PC where you can download mods to make your enjoyment of the game just that much better. Fallout 3 is still and forever will be an amazing game. I do think they should remaster it and provide new fans of the Fallout series an opportunity to experience what I did back in the day. That's all I have for you in this video, I just want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, and catch you later. Have